What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, you and I will be creating a sketch illustration of a fireworm dragon from the Dragons of Burke. For today's lesson, we'll be drawing a side profile of our character and I'll be drawing with this mechanical pencil with a 2B graphite stick. Let's start by defining the shape of our character with the center spine. We're gonna start over on the left side. Let's curve this up and over towards the right. And I'm just gonna round this out. Come across, back towards the left. And I'll just bring that down towards the bottom of our page. Now that we have that center spine, let's start blocking out the basic shape of the head. We're gonna start down here, go up, and then across towards the top of the head. I'm just gonna curl this back around towards the spine, and then pull that all the way up. I'm just gonna bend this back down towards the spine, towards the base of the neck. Now we're gonna open up the jaw. From here, curl this out, and then down. And then from here, it's gonna work our way around the outside of the jaw. So I'm gonna bend this up and back, curve this around and then back up. Now from here, we're gonna add some thickness to the neck. From the top of the spine, step up. It's gonna follow that curve going all the way around. Come in towards the bottom and then down. Now you want the neck to be thinner along the top and then thicker as we come down towards the bottom. So from the spine, step down and go all the way around and start to get wider as you come around underneath the jaw and then down towards the bottom. Let's add a circle along the front for the eye. And then along the bottom, draw a small oval for the nostril. Now with the head, we just want to tilt it back so we see the inside edge of the mouth. Starting from here, follow that same curve, coming in and then out. Let's add in the tongue. Starting up here, it's going to bend this across and then down. And just curl that back out towards the tip. Now from here, it's going to taper this so it gets wider as we come back in towards the mouth. Now along the center of the spine, we're gonna block in the two arms. Let's start up here, start with a circle, the socket of the arm, move all the way down and draw another one. Let's block in the shape of the arm. From the center of the circle, come down with an angled line towards the elbow, and then bend that back up. Let's go to the bottom and do the same thing. Coming straight down and then out. Now the left arm is going to be tucked in behind the body. So we're going to start up here, and it's up and out. Step down and draw that again. Now on the end of each arm, we draw an oval for the palm. So we'll start with the top, and just work our way down. Now I'm also going to place the wing along the back. So we start up here, curve this down towards the bottom. I'm just going to bend the wing, going out, and then up, bend this out, and then down towards the bottom of our page. Now we're gonna add those curled horns along the top of the head. Let's start up here, curl this up and in, step back, add another one going up and in. I'm just gonna overlap and just tuck this in behind. Now we're gonna add some horns along this ridge, starting from the top, going up and then back. And leave a gap, draw another one, going all the way across. Now down here, it's gonna curl this one out in the opposite direction, going up. Now from the base of the last horn, it's gonna curl the jaw, coming around and then out. Now with our rough sketch in place, we're gonna go in with the tip or pencil and start adding some details. Now I like to start with the eye. Start by adding the eyelid. I'm just gonna curl this up and out towards the top right. Just gonna darken up the eyelid and then draw on the bottom, going out and up. Now it's gonna surround the eye with some folds. Starting from the front, just going across and work away across the bottom. Now I'm just gonna lightly shade in the eyelid along the top and bottom. Now 
from here, it's going to work our way out from the eye. Again, just adding a few more folds. And I'm just going to add a little bit more shape to the head. And I'm just going across the top edge of the mouth towards the corner. Right about there. And then we'll work our way across the bottom of the mouth. So we'll come back up to the top and add some thickness to those horns. Just coming in toward the top. Just adding a few folds around the outside. along the top row, starting from the front and just working our way out towards the back. Just leaving a little bit of a gap in between the teeth. Just add a few smaller ones in between. And I just want to vary the size and the spacing so it doesn't look too uniform. I'm just going to stop right about here. Add a few large fangs along the bottom, starting from the front, and then go a little bit smaller as you come back. And we're just overlapping the tongue. I'm also going to add that cartilage on the corner of the mouth, and I'm just going to lightly shade that in. Add a slightly darker shadow along the top, and then go back and just trace out the tongue. And you can add a few folds along the tongue if you'd like, just to give a little bit of a twist. And then, and then just tuck that in behind the teeth. And then go in and just darken up the tongue. So I'm gonna start with a basic shade first. And I'll come back and just clean that up after. So add a darker shadow just underneath this fold. And then fade that back. And I'm drawing the underside of the mouth going in behind the teeth. And then we'll darken that up. I'm going to do the same thing along the top, just adding some thickness to these horns, just bending them back, and just having a little bit of an overlap along the base. So adding a few in the back and just lightly shading that in, almost like a silhouette. Now we're going to add some folds across the base of the neck along the bottom. So just start by pulling this up. Now we're just going to fold this. Add one fold, just curve this across and out. We're just going to tuck the neck in underneath. Now with the hands, we're just going to simplify the detail. So we're going to add the claws with a line going up and then bending that down. And I want to do that three times along the top edge of each hand. So just bending the fingers along the tip, so going up and down. 
And we're going to come back and add a little bit of thickness to each of those fingers. So start with the top. Just going to round up the side. Just out and down toward the tip of the claw. And just pull that back up. Now I'm just going to repeat that. Just going to layer these in behind. And work our way down toward the bottom of the palm and then in. Now we want to leave a gap along the wrist. Just close off the inside of each finger. And work our way across toward the elbow. And then up toward that socket. And I can go back and separate each of the claws and then just darken up the tips. Just gonna have a little fold along the palm. Now let's repeat that same step along each hand. Now before drawing in the back hand, we're just gonna finish off the front of the body. That in behind the front hand and also the back. I'm not getting too detailed with the hands. Roughing the shading and the claws. And now we're going to add some detail to the wave. Starting from the top, coming down, we want to create a little overlap and fold along the base. Just pulling that in and then just tuck that up in behind the neck. Let's go up to the top, add a claw going up and out. I'm just going to separate this off with a small curve and then work our way down towards the bottom. Go back and just darken up the edge of the neck. Then we're going to add a fold along the ridge. Coming down, round this out, and then just taper this so it gets narrow as it comes up towards the top, and work our way down the side. Draw on the bottom of the wing, adding those folds. And now at the side edge of our pencil, we're just going to add some shading, starting with the front of the head. Just going to darken that up and just fade that in and across. Add some shadows across the top. I don't want to go too hard with these shadows, just a subtle effect, just to give our character some shape and definition. Let's go across the bottom. Now this is the base of our shading and tones. So I'm just going to overlap this with some more detail after. Now we're going to add a detail across the head. So a stripe going across, going a little bit harder and darker as it comes across, and then just blend that out towards the side of the neck. So we continue along the bottom, on the side of the neck, and down. And we're just following this edge of the spine with these lines. I'm just going to add some lines across the front of the neck. Just going a little bit darker along the base and pulling that in. And we're also going to add some stripes going across the bottom of the jaw. So going wider and then just tapering up towards a point.
And now we're just going to add that subtle detail of scales inside the body and head. So staying with the side edge of our pencil, I'm just going to add these little spots. I'm just going to fade that out as we come towards the front. And then just darken them in the shadow areas. Let's go back to the tip of our pencil and add some finer details. Add some teeth on the back and just shade those in. So then a little bit of a silhouette. As we get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll continue to add some more shadows and details and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a fireworm dragon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.